Hey. We are streaming. Hooray. Yeah, bueno. A Ben. Welcome to Arcs. Locked. I am Felnor, alchemist of the kingdom, and friend of the late Fallon Orbiplanix. Who was Fallon Orbiplanix? Fallon was our astronomer. He died a few days ago. I think he was about to bring to light a terrible plan, but he never got time to say more about it. I'm investigating the rituals and the death of Fallon Orbit Planets. All I can tell you is that these two things are linked. I have here a note that Fallon gave me the day he died in case anything happened to him. I never really understood what it meant. Maybe you will understand. Don't. Oh yeah, this is like a math puzzle. Uh, right. We should probably go grab uh, our million resources we left outside on the ground. Baba came a little in the room. Skills, yeah. We used to be if you can extra backpacks if you hard. We got so much space. I don't want to use these things. I want to pick them up and bring them with me. Oh my god, my inventory is full of shit again. Little metal key. Hello, sir. I want you to buy these. I will never use them. Thank you. And also this cursed ring for whatever reason. Ruby. Diamonds. We don't actually need this emerald. Oh, yeah. If I want to talk to you, but I think I have to. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to sell you anything today. I'm gonna to have to close up the stall now. Are you in need of a healer? No, no, I'm not sick. It's my little girl, Shaney. She's been missing since yesterday, and I'm beside myself with worry. Missing? She was playing at the other side of the square, near the jewelers, and she never came back to the stall. Nobody has seen her, and the guards are far too busy dealing with the Ilsid attacks to do anything about it. I will discover what has happened to your little girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are heaven sent, traveler. I will discover. She's like, I can't sell you anything today, but then she immediately walks into the stall and sells you things. It's such a strange thing. Uh, we don't actually have anything to sell to you, right? No.
Fisherman's not around. We want to go sell some shares. Or fuck off, please. these shares for 150 a piece how much do we sell them 175 a piece definitely not worth it might have been more worth if we weren't a dumb fucking fighter uh, with 12 intuition <laughs> but we made what 25 times 12 250 like 300 gold at least net gain Problem is, 300 gold is pretty much nothing. It's nothing. Uh, right. We sold those things. We sold the shares again. The piece of paper, which is nothing. Uh, yeah. Now we go make a million potions. Because we can. <laughs> Just gonna check one thing. Mute. Just in case. Could add some tanks. I forget. Blue powder, orange, green. And in here we have more powder. Time for herb grinding. Oh man. Okay, we don't actually need more than glory flowers. Just meat. Um, poisonous potion is a fern into green into a bottle with some metal rust. The fuck is that noise, dude? Uh, an antidote is orange. Oh, orange is an antidote. Right, I don't think I used one of those. But maybe we'll make one or two. Less is snowdrop. Until liquid snowdrop. 
than Aqua Essentia. We could make mana potions and make them into mana Essentia. Or Aqua Essentia. We could have them as a base. Could do that. Uh, blah blah blah. So I think we'll uh, we'll actually use them. Oops. Three. Not a good idea. Oh yeah, we need uh, meat because we need oil. Real alchemy. A real alchemist. Aren't we good people? Wish you could do more at a time. Oh, we can't. Now we have oil. Eh. I don't really want to waste this oil on making like mana potions. I'd rather make healing potions. healing potions probably not won't need them for quite a while but I'd rather have them than not and now it's time for some inventory tetris woohoo fun times right we're gonna be swapping around a lot of shit. I want these potions in my second backpack. So that they do not obstruct regular items. Which is why I'm wondering why these are still in my... Why are you in my first? Got a lot of stuff, but I just recently got my second backpack, so I guess it makes sense. Gonna like that. Buck ton of food, some torches. Keys go in first because I don't wanna. I don't wanna waste more, or I don't wanna fiddle around for keys. some potions two potions snowflakes snowflake uh, mana pressure butter chitin rust antidote bone powder poison poison more food to change Food to change. We had a lot of shit in our inventory. This is actually looking clean now. Apples, red cheese bread, apples, preservation spices, and wine. And you can go in here because it's not relevant, not technically relevant. It's a quest item, quest item, and a scroll. Well, we have a clean inventory and a lot of potions. Hurrah! So where do we go now? Do we go? We could do the council room and just find out that the dude is the dude. Alright, the shield. Uh, I dropped a shield here before because I didn't have any space. I'm gonna pick that up and sell that shit. Mm. 
that's right. No? Oh, that's that's not your room. It's uh, it's this one up here, right? Yeah. Scroll of telekinesis, very useful. And this is what two four eight, right? Yeah, buddy. We are Fallon's precious notebook. Hmm. I think it is time to call the council together. Very well. Now that all the members of the council are present, let us begin. Felnor, what have you found in Fallon Orbit Planix's notes? Let me see... Ah... Fallon mentions something about the guard, Urza. He says he saw him practicing dark rituals involving animal sacrifices. Perhaps it was Urza who was behind Fallon's murder. Or perhaps it was even the high priest of the cult of Akba. Oh, listen to this. I discovered the existence of a cult which wishes to invoke Akba onto Arx. How was suspicious of that Urzog? Guards, throw Urzog into the cells! Felnor, who is this Akba I heard you speak of? Akba is a powerful devil, the god of destruction, that this cult is evidently trying to invoke and bring back to Arx. It would be blasphemy to allow this act to be perpetrated, and a total disaster for every living being on our planet. Yes, yes, here, listen to the next bit. This evening I shall contact the Noden to ask for their help. The Noden? The Noden is the dimension which regulates the existence of gods. They maintain the universal equilibrium by preventing an imbalance in the power of gods. If Fallon really had been able to contact the Noden, it is possible they may have sent an emissary here to stop the coming of Akba. An emissary? These emissaries are creatures of pure energy when they are on the Noden. They are sent to cut off the energy channels which might drive the gods out of their dimension. I have heard amazing tales of emissaries who have the strength of 100 men or who can perform the highest forms of magic. Others who are invincible. These emissaries are called guardians. Somewhere in the fortress is a cult which recites impious prayers to a fragment of a meteorite made entirely of a material called Kolk. This rock is said to have come from the place where Akba was born. Normally, this substance is indestructible. In truth, Felnor, only a guardian of the Noden could destroy this meteor. How could one of these guardians stop the incarnation of a god just by destroying a piece of rock? It is the impious prayers of the priests and their hideous sacrifices which are focused by the meteor. It provides a channel of energy for Akba, who, when he has gathered enough, will be able to complete his incarnation in Arx. If that happens, destruction and suffering will be unleashed upon us. We must find and destroy this meteorite at any cost. How shall we find this guardian? I have a fragment of Kaltik in my laboratory, which may be of great assistance in finding him. Let's be clear about one thing. We know that the cult of Akba has a great presence in Arx, and that it is gaining power. Luckily, we were able to stop Urzog, the cult's high priest, before it was too late. But other worshippers could still invoke Akba. We must find this famed guardian of the Noden as soon as possible. In addition, the war with the Ilsids is very troubling, Majesty. What should we do about it? Carlo, we need a solid plan of defense. I fear the worst. Nobody knows exactly what these Ilsids are or who commands them. Guards, bring me the fragment of Koltk. Arm Shigar, while our army is facing the Ilsids, we will need your help to find this legendary guardian. I cannot deny that this task will be harsh and lengthy. In fact, we have no idea what the guardian will look like, or even if it is already among us. 
but I have faith in your capability. Here is the stone, your majesty. Good. Oh, God. The table. Take this stone, Amshigar. It is a small thing. The Guardian is the only one who is capable of destroying this fragment of meteor. Above all, take great care. Great ah. heavens! Allow me to explain your next mission. You know the rules of the Noten, the dimension of gods and demon princes. No being of power is permitted to leave this dimension, but Akba is preparing to invade a world called Arx. A group of his followers is presently trying to invoke him. You know that this must not be. We cannot fight Akba from here, for we can impose nothing on the gods. So we shall send you to destroy this cult which worships him, and without the adulation of followers, his power will diminish to acceptable levels. I shall destroy this cult, Master. It will be no simple task. For this mission, we shall confer upon you a specific skill to allow you to destroy the cultic rock which is linked to Akba's power. It is impervious to mortal attack. This rock is the source of the problem as it channels the energy given by Akba's followers. Soon, Akba will have enough energy to enable him to complete his incarnation on Arx. I understand, Master. I have a contact in Arx. Your contact died during the transmission of his message. You will have to find your own way when you get there. This is extremely troublesome, as the shock of the passage is disastrous for a guardian's memory. You may be disoriented for a while before your memory returns and you recall this conversation. But there is no other way. Prepare yourself. You are about to be transported. I will bring you back when you have completed your mission. But that means that Amshagar is... The Guardian. It all makes sense to me now, and especially his constant desire to help others. I am honored to meet you, Guardian. Touching this stone has enlightened my mind. I was sent here to stop the coming of Akva. I must act without delay. First, I need to gain access to the secret temple. There I shall destroy the stone by simply touching it. May the wisdom of the Noden guide you, Amshagar. Don't let us delay you further. Oh my god, we're the Guardian. Yay! There we go. We found out where to go. We were the guardian all along. Also, this note is no longer relevant. Textures take forever to load, dude.
cool. On each of the kingdom's levels, my sisters have set up a similar room. To use these portals, stand in front and chant the spell. Activate portal. Mega Spasium. That's actually pretty cool, because I never actually got that cutscene in my first playthrough. Mostly because I, I looked up a lot of stuff, and I had already activated some portals. Oh hey, it actually tells you Mega Spasium. Cool. And she gave me Mega and Spasium, just in case. So that's nice. You're always guaranteed to be able to uh, to teleport that. That's amazing. Uh, telekinesis and heal, mugs and goblins. Yep. Hello sir, wish to sell you my trash shield. And I know that you sell plate armor. 21, 26, I have 8k. What kind of helmet am I? I'm already wearing a steel helmet. Cool. 4 to 10. 5 to 9. Yeah, I think we're we're upgrading. Uh, we are Guardian. Buying a breastplate or buying some greaves. Now we're going from 26 to 32, 32 to 36. But our magic resistance is trash. Wait, 1200? I mean, I'll take it. Minus 66 stealth. Fuck yeah. Minus 56 casting. All right then. <sighs> That's pretty hilarious actually. I don't know if it actually makes us slower as well, but maybe. No, let's not go this way. Let's go through through the tunnel. Dude, the sound design on this fucking armor is amazing. I can hear the squeaks. Come on, game. Come on. I don't think you can kill those bats, but they can definitely hurt you 